Good afternoon, and welcome back to The Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I'll be sharing with you how histamine benefits our bodies, but can also have negative effects. This video is being shared with you thanks to a recommendation from a valued subscriber. Histamine is an important neurotransmitter and an immune messenger molecule. In the brain, it plays a key role in increasing alertness, motivation, and exploration. Helps deal with stress, improves cognitive performance, may even combat depression, reduces appetite, and promotes sexual behavior and reproduction. It also affects the processes involving acid secretion for digestion, prioritizes water reserves to key areas of the body, and the inflammatory response. One of the major effects of histamine is causing the blood vessels to swell and dilate. When the body senses that it is threatened, it will secrete higher amounts of histamine. This allows the white blood cells to quickly move through the bloodstream and find the potential threat or infection. This is an important component to a healthy immune response. However, when histamine levels get too high, or when it can't break down properly, it can affect your normal bodily functions. Histamine is naturally produced along with the enzyme diamine oxidase, DAO. DAO is responsible for breaking down histamine that you take in from foods. If you develop a DAO deficiency and are unable to break down histamine, you can develop an intolerance. Therefore, histamine intolerance is not a sensitivity to histamine, but an indication that you have developed too much of it. Too much histamine can cause skin itchiness, increases inflammation, contributes to rheumatoid arthritis, aggravates atopic dermatitis, decreases bone density, causes headaches, contributes to asthma, causes ulcers, and increases anxiety. Some foods naturally have more histamine content, while others accumulate histamines while they age. Fermented and dried foods typically have the highest levels of histamines. A low histamine diet must be focused around getting foods at their peak level of freshness. Foods with high levels of histamine, which block DAO enzymes, include Fermented alcoholic beverages, especially wine, champagne, and beer. Fermented foods, sauerkraut, vinegar, soy sauce, kefir, yogurt, kombucha. Vinegar-containing foods, pickles, mayonnaise, olives. Cured meats, bacon, salami, pepperoni, lunch meats, and hot dogs. Soured foods, sour cream, sour milk, buttermilk, soured bread. Dried fruit apricots, prunes, dates, figs, and raisins. Most citrus fruits, aged cheese including goat cheese, nuts, walnuts, cashews, and peanuts, vegetables, avocados, eggplant, spinach, and tomatoes, smoked fish and certain species of fish, mackerel, tuna, anchovies, sardines, cocoa, chili powder, cinnamon, and cloves, Processed foods of all types. Preservatives are high in histamines. If you have a histamine intolerance, incorporating low histamine foods into your diet can help reduce symptoms. There's no such thing as a histamine-free diet. Some foods that are low in histamine include freshly caught fish, non-citrus fruits, quinoa, rice, coconut milk, almond milk, fresh vegetables, except for tomatoes, avocados, spinach, and eggplant, and olive oil. In addition, supplementing with natural antihistamines, such as quercetin, bromelain, pine bark extract, and holy basil, can help to alleviate histamine intolerance. Intermittent fasting has also been shown to have a number of benefits for histamine intolerance, Animal studies indicate fasting prevents histamine release from mast cells and therefore improves symptoms. There is a link in the description to a website that contains more valuable information on this topic. Also, 
Please consult with a dietitian before making any changes to your diet. As always, thank you for watching. Good day and good health.